Hey, it's Adrian Hernandez, Odyssey Las Vegas, and our press run for Hello Tomorrow continues here with the co-creators. First off, congratulations. Show premieres February 17th this Friday. And Amit, we'll start with you. Um, I think the thing that captured me the most about watching the first, I've watched just the first five episodes. I don't want to spoil everything. Um, but really what captured me was how beautiful the show is, um, how vivid and unique it is. But for you, now that this is finally out and it's a final product, did it kind of match your expectation when this was when this was just words on a paper? Oh yeah. Oh, it's a great question. Um, it does match. It does exceed in many times, also, right? Like you, you really. We're just two guys, but the show is actually made by men, hundreds of people, but dozens and dozens of brilliant designers and technicians and our props master and our production designer, not to mention the cast, which, you know, as much as you want to believe a character is real on the page and it's real in your imagination, suddenly they're up and walking and you're talking to them and they're, they're richer and, and, and deeper than you ever imagined. Like, uh, you know, that, that's some, you know, that's a gift, you know, you're, you, very rare and beautiful thing to get to experience. No, 100%. And for you, Lucas, like, um, I've crossed the level of fandom with some of the things I enjoy. Like, I've started to purchase the books of seasons where they go through the artwork. And the one thing that I never really considered until I started looking through these pages is that when there's certain a robot or an alien or, or set, there's so many different variations of ideas that they went through until the final product was on the screen for you guys. Like in particular, can you walk me through the process of coming up with some of these robots that are in the show? Because that is an underrated thing that I seriously enjoyed are some of the creations that are in the background of all these episodes. Yeah, no, it's so fun. I mean, first we knew from when we started we wanted to make everything real, have it be practical when we shot it. So all those robots are real metal that's being puppeted by puppeteers. All of the inventions are real things that we built. That are brilliant props team in a lot of in a lot of times built out of vintage elements and we're it's amazing packing things together. It was amazing. But we got to this point, you know, it, after we had shot a couple shows, we had a language back and forth about what things were going to look like. And we would just start throwing stuff in the scripts that we had no idea what it would be. And we would just to show up and see what they had done with it. We're like, we want you to make a machine where you push a button and tuna casserole comes out. And, and then all of a sudden you show up in episode five and you see Myrtle Mayburn in the store pushes a button on this big dome with a mayo injector and a tuna cheese injector. And, you know, there's no greater thrill in the world than seeing the cast master brought to life. Well, you're you're completely right on that. And it's also fascinating that some of these scenes, like as fun as the show is, there's some serious stuff and they're having to act while some of this stuff is in the background. I thought it was absolutely b brilliant. Um, and, and speaking on some of the show topics and the storylines, like there's a lot of themes that I find fascinating. Like for one, being a salesman in general deals with a lot of rejection. Uh, me being in radio and TV <laughs> yeah. or being an actor, like you deal with those things all the time. Um, but for you guys, uh, what's kind of one of the themes or storylines that you guys explored that you enjoyed the most? Well, you now we're you all salesmen it. now. Our culture yeah. has turned all of us into salesmen. What do you, I mean? What do you do right now when you're up on the internet? We're all, what are we doing? What are we're all selling. selling. We have to pin that in shows. You know, you know that's both a harrowing experience when you fail, and it's kind of freaky when you do well too. Um, you know, that's we wanted to create a character in Jack who is sort of the iconic salesman, the tragic figure of our age, a salesman who was so good and believed in what he was selling all the way. And what does that do to you as a salesman if you think what you're doing is giving the people who you're selling things to a new life? It's both a beautiful thing, but it's a very dangerous thing, too. And it's something I think we're all having to reckon with now that we're in this incredible sort of uh, crabs in a bucket type scenario where all we're doing is selling to get by. No, 100%. Well, I'm going to sell the show. Comes out this Friday, Apple TV. Please go check out Hello Tomorrow. Thank you guys both for the Thank time. And congratulations. Thank Great you so you. much. Really nice to meet you. Thanks for watching it. Perfect.